what's going on guys welcome to another video on the channel i want to talk about microsoft today there's always been these rumors that microsoft's going to go third party are they going to bring their games to other platforms are they going to get rid of their console completely they haven't been selling consoles at a high rate like playstation and nintendo has game pass is a huge success for microsoft but i feel like they want to bring it to a lot of other places. So this is where the crux of this video comes into play, is that there's rumors that Microsoft is bringing their games to third-party platforms. This brings into the question of like, Microsoft's mantra in the last like what, five years or so is play their games anywhere with anyone. Doesn't matter the platform, play with your friends. With that teed up, let's talk about the strong reports that are going around that Microsoft is bringing their first-party games over to PlayStation and Nintendo. The main reporting is coming from The Verge saying that Hi-Fi Rush is being announced for non-Xbox platforms in the next coming weeks. There's also data mined images and assets that suggest that Hi-Fi Rush is going multi-plat with PlayStation key art and Nintendo key art. Putting Hi-Fi Rush onto PlayStation and Switch is a good thing in my opinion because it gets more people to play the game. It was an industry darling last year, and gamers love it. Putting it in hands of more people is a good thing. The only thing is that Hi-Fi Rush is a smaller game within Tango Gameworks. I feel like something else has to give these rumors some credence, something that maybe is a little bit of a heavy hitter to see if Xbox games will come multi-platform. Would there be a game that caused more splash if that happened? Yep, that's right. Starfield is being planned to be released on PlayStation 5. According to Xbox Era, following the release of the first expansion, which is called Shattered Space, which is coming out on the Xbox and PC, the space adventure will make its way to the PlayStation 5. It seems like Microsoft is making a bigger investment in the PS5 dev kit, so it's safe to say that a lot of the Bethesda games that were supposed to be multi-plat and are not exclusives are also going to be coming to PlayStation. This doesn't just stop at Starfield. It's also reported that Indiana Jones and the Great Circle was also supposed to come out from the multi-plat. But since Xbox or Microsoft bought Bethesda, the console exclusivity cause was added. There's also internal debate going on to bring it to PlayStation 5. And honestly, I could see that happening. Not right away though. I think there's gonna be like a six month, maybe a three month exclusivity to Xbox, and then they'll bring it to the other platforms. This could pave the road for Microsoft going third party with their exclusives. And I think it's a great idea. If they truly want players to play games everywhere, put them everywhere. Give them cross play and give it, put them on every console that they can. Even the Switch, if the games can run on the Switch. Maybe the Switch too, fingers crossed. The PlayStation console has a huge install base, and this would be a huge boon for Microsoft. Even Apple changed their terms of service to allow apps like Game Pass to be in the App Store. I think it's the start of the dominoes, the fall for Microsoft to bring Game Pass everywhere, even on PSN. I know lots of Xbox diehard fans will like this stance, don't bring it to the other consoles, keep it exclusive, but I think it's the most pro-consumer thing that Microsoft can do to bring all their games to every platform. I wish PlayStation would do that as well for all their games because I hate exclusivity. I find it so anti-consumer. I love Game Pass. It lets me try new games that I would never try. And it also lets me play games without putting that price point of a 90 to to $100. I live in Canada, so all games here are almost $100 when uh, that's the baseline for video games now, especially when it comes to AAA. Tell me what you guys think. Would you guys like to see Xbox games on multi-platform? Would you like them to come to PlayStation? Do you think this is a great move on their end? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. If you guys like the content on the channel, hit the sub button. I'd really, really appreciate it. I stream over on twitch.tv slash beard and hair three days a week. We talk all about video games. We play some Souls games, all that fun stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.